Hi Stampin' Friends. The stamp set we're using tonight is Peaceful Nativity and it is with the Nativity dies. So it's a set of um, the ones that it has are a little stable and then it has Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus in the manger. Um, it has a donkey, a sheep, and three sentiments plus some stars and then some cutouts. So that is the set we will be using. And um, I did some kind of simple cards because I wanted to try and show um, some variety in how that we will use the cards. What I wanted to show you first was using just the dies. This is what we used last week, the poinsettia. Um, it's like, it's got felted um, embossing or um, like flocking stuck on top of the vellum. And so what I wanted to show you is this as a background. I mean, of course it looks good with the poinsettias on the background, but I thought it was kind of, um, well, both surprising and kind of interesting to put with this set. So what you can do is then use the pieces. Now the background here that I have is our Moonlight Mist. So, um, no, Misty Moonlight. And then this is just the navy that I've used with it. So, to me, if you had a bunch of cards to make, to me this gives a really cute um, idea. I mean, everybody knows what this is because we've seen this, you know, it, we know what we're seeing when we do this. And then certainly when you put a star at the top, either with the gold, this is it in the gold foil, the little star, or you could put it with some crushed curry or um, bumblebee. It totally gives the idea, and you don't necessarily need to add a lot of um, coloring, which we're going to do a colored one, but I wanted to show you what this might look like first. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. And I find that with this flocked paper, you really do not, you don't see much of the um, adhesive going through from the, I try to get under a spot where there is quite a bit of flocking, but for me, I didn't notice it showing through very badly. So that's kind of a nice bonus that it um, does cover well. Okay, so there's that. Where I just put a piece across the bottom and the top, and I wanted to show this um, navy ribbon also. It's kind of a shiny navy ribbon, and that could be really pretty across the bottom. This could be, um, cute with this because we're using both navy and the, um, what do you call it? Misty Moonlight. Because you could also use Misty Moonlight, but just to add a little bit of um, color. What I like about this one is the reason I'm, I guess I chose it. When you tie a knot with it, it's so tiny. So to me, it would look really cute on the sentiment. I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the stable down and I'm not going to add the um, dimensionals under it. I'm just going to use regular adhesive because I kind of want it to um, ex not exactly fade in the background but maybe sort of. Um, I don't want it to be the main focus. I want to put Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus out as the main focus. If I can get it to roll. There we go. And a tiny drop on that side. So I'm going to have to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. You could also, what I'm going to do later is going to use a little piece of um, brown on here. So that could be cute. Okay, so there I've got my stable somewhat fairly centered. And then, now using green, um, our mono multi glue could make this easier too. I'm probably doing this a, kind of a dumb way to add this on here, but anyway. So I'm gonna put a tree on each side. And you could also, I have this um, punched out also, stamped it and also in um, Pretty Peacock. And I think that would look really pretty, you know, to put layers of trees. I don't, does that make sense? Like, I'm not gonna leave it on here, but like, to me, it makes it pop more, the more color that you have. So if you have plenty of time to cut out dyes, that could be really pretty. And I, I could also see, um, I didn't do it and I should have, um, putting, this in um, brown and then cutting out like an old olive on top of it. So what I was trying to say is I could do this in a brown and then do cut off the top and put the um, green on the top. That could be really cute. Kind of add a little extra something. 
So I'm going to try to get some. I might want to go with some glue dots here. This is kind of funny. Having an interesting time of it. Or like I said, the mono multi. Okay, so there's that little tree. Then I want to put Mary Joseph and baby Jesus on some dimensionals to add a little more to it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm ready to just add my little donkey on one side. Twist him over here. And then my little sheep, where did he go? Oh shoot, he's lost. No, here he is. On this side and twist. There we go. And then I can decide whether I want to put rejoice or for unto us. We could put your you could put your let's see, let me turn it around where you can see better. You could put your star right here over the stable. I think that's really cute. And then this has for unto us a child is born and it also has rejoice. So to me, you could put either one on the inside versus the outside. So to me, I'm not sure it really makes that much of a difference. So anywho, the little rejoice could go there, I think could be nice, or up, up here, just kind of anywhere. So kind of just a choice, whichever you prefer. I think I am going to go with down here. I'm gonna just put some, put a dimensional on the bottom where, oops, if that wasn't the bottom, there we go. Because I don't need anything on the top because the um, there's already dimensionals under Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus. Okay, and then I just need to find a glue dot or something here, some, some from a paper pumpkin that I could use. Go. and then I'm just gonna put it right there so there's our first card and um, it just kind of has um, a monoc monochrome except for the star which you could do in silver or something to give it even more of a modern of a monochrome look but anyways that is that card so that's our first card and now I'm just gonna do this one again on I'm kind of a one note on this, but I liked this blue because I thought we could we could stamp um, little silver stars on here. You know, use the embossing, um, use some gold embossing powder would be gorgeous with this, especially if we use the um, gold star, that would be really pretty. And to not even cut these out, maybe to put it right down here at the bottom, you know, part of the card. Um, I think that would be gorgeous, something to consider for um, class, certainly for that next time. And then this little guy, I think this is really a pretty um, background piece. So I like the putting, you know, it's, it's still kind of monochrome the way I did it, but this one has a little more color. So let me add just a tiny bit of glue here, here and there and everywhere. Let's kind of give it a little bit of sticky. Okay. Then maybe put it, oops, I kind of got carried away there. Maybe put it right there, it's about the center, who knows. And then I want to put a glue dot under my star. Put it right above. There we go. I think it would be pretty to stamp stars in either um, dark colors or in um, white and emboss because um, you could add your Wink of Stella as well and you could just not even add, not even really do anything. You just put your little Wink of Stella up here and that's gonna be really cute too. So another option. Okay, so now I'm adding my Mary and Joseph on this one. Just kind of gives it a different look by having the brown stable behind. So let's see here. I'm trying to decide. I'll probably decide it's not even after I'm finished, but okay, there they go. I'm going to scoot them down just a little. 
like that. Okay, and then put on our little donkey. this side and our sheep on this side. There we go. And I can't decide if I want any palms or not. What do you think? You don't necessarily have to have them right up next to the thing. I don't I don't know that there were too many trees growing right up next to stables. It was probably off to the side kind of like that. So that's just a different way of doing it. So I stamped these in both uh, Misty Moonlight and in um, black so that I could, and did I use the black one? I might have. Um, so that when I did these that I'm going to color, I want that to match. So that was kind of my plan on that. Okay, I think I have that a little bit wonky, but anyway. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like when you use a different set of colors. And think how pretty this would be on, um, last year we did um, the Northern Lights technique. Um, you could do that in a slightly more subtle way. Um, maybe not quite so much color, but still kind of that same um, idea of putting, um, maybe stick with just blues and purples. And um, that would make a really pretty background for this as well. I think that would look really nice. Okay, so there's the second one. And then, gonna do some coloring. This might get a little bit dull, I don't know. It's possible. I have my markers out. I got, um, I chose Light Smoky Slate for the little donkey. And I'm not really sure that he's not just brown, but it'll have more variety, I think, if we use the smoky slate. Because we'll need a lot of brown on the, um, on the stable. So I thought, well, we'll make the little donkey gray. And one thing I would, I kind of want to change about this in a way, well, not change, but um, I want to kind of work on is I'm not a huge fan of, after you color this, the white against a blue background. Because it really makes the way that you cut it out stand out a lot. So I'm trying to think, it's like, do I wanna go around this with navy or something? I, I'm seriously considering trying to figure out what that will look like, see if that will might look good at all, because it's, it's very bright. You could always use a white, you know, just make a white background and add your own um, little bit of like navy, like make the background white here. So that, you know, takes care of that. And then just put a little bit of color on here with sponges, like maybe use um, some Sahara sand on the bottom and some light colors up in here. Um, so that's another way that might, might take care of the way that this is so white. Okay, so I did that one. Now I'm gonna be looking for some brown. And I think for the sheep, I'm just gonna use the ivory. And I'm not gonna actually color the entire sheep. I'm just gonna color its little face. Um, you could also have colored its face um, and maybe its little legs, just a little bit of color. There we go. You could color its face black as well. It's kind of a common sheep thing, but I just thought I'd go with kind of a peachy color. And then, I wanna get some really light yellow to put on the straw that looks like it's got kind of a straw top here. I'll do that on the roof of the stable. Just using, on this one, I'm just using the light crumb cake to color the wood. And you could use gray for this too. I was kind of torn because you know the, the wood probably did kind of gray a little bit. And I'm gonna just put a little bit over the um, straw because the straw is not gonna be truly yellow. Just kind of tone it down just a little bit. Okay, so now I have that. So I could, I can consider whether I like it better on this or whether I would like it better without, so there's that. And then I'm getting ready to color here. 
Gonna go ahead and color the manger with my yellow. This is, I'm using, sorry, I'm using light so saffron first. Here we are. Then I'm just going back over with the light crumb cake, just as I said earlier, to tone it down. And then the manger in the light crumb cake. Let me turn this around where you can see it. That makes more sense, doesn't it? And then maybe the rejoice right there. Oops. Okay. I guess I want the dark crumb cake to use for Joseph's staff or his shepherd's crook, whatever you want to call it. That is not what I grabbed. I grabbed dark soft suede, but that works too. And then I guess I can use the crumb cake for, there's dark crumb cake, for his um, clothing. A little bit of that. Well, oh, that's pretty dark. Hmm. I want to do some really light purple. Um, it's so funny. We like when when you think of your um, coloring. Do you think of what um, things have been colored on some nativity scenes that you've seen before? That's what I do. So like right now, it looks like I'm coloring Joseph pink, but it's because I had seen um, it have a kind of a dark eggplanty purple on his. So I'm thinking I want to mix that with brown. I think that'll be. That will look like a nice color to me. So I'm gonna mix those together. And then I'm gonna get the light black for his hair. And Mary has a little bit of hair too, so I might use some light black on that. There we go. And get Joseph some, because his beard is definitely black. And then I did just a few little streaks, then I'm gonna go back in with my um, dark soft suede and give it a little brownness. It's so tiny, it probably doesn't matter, but I'm doing it anyway. A little extra time, no big. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my ivory back for their little faces. And one thing I've noticed about the ivory, the more times you go over it, the darker it gets, so if you think that's not dark enough, you can add some um, crumb cake, or you can go over this a few times. There's that. And I'm going to go, let's see, did I use the, no, I want the dark crumb cake. Is that that? Yeah. Go over the, go over his robe, because I'm not really going to leave it bright purple. There we are. So there's the color I chose. I'm putting together the um, the light, let's see, purple posy with the brown to kind of give it a little more color. And um, I think for Mary, I think we'll use some blues. So let's see what we have here. We have dark seaside spray. Let's see here, I'll try to start. Maybe in some of these folds, just a little bit, and kind of go over that. Here we are. I miss seeing you guys, both my Stampin' Up friends from far away that you know we haven't been able to get together, and uh, local friends that we haven't been able to have class. That's kind of, kind of sad, but someday we will again, and that will be very happy. There we go. So now I'm just going over this with the light seaside spray um, because the um, I went over the dark spots with the dark seaside spray. There we are. And I think I'll use the light seaside spray for Jesus's little swaddling clothes. There we are. And then we just need to go over the face. Let's see what happens when I follow my own advice and use the light crumb cake on top of there. Where did I set it? Now, let's see if I like the color or not. Oh, not bad. I do like the color. It's not 
probably the perfect color. There we go. All right. So that really did not take me too terribly long. If you were going to um, do this, I don't think it would, um, I mean, if you were just sitting watching TV, I think it'd be pretty easy to get these done, um, even if you were doing several. Just my opinion. So now you can see what this would look like if you put it on um, the white background. It kind of, the cutting pieces kind of fade more, but then if you prefer it like this, then you, you do kind of see the white but I think it's also, it's just kind of a different look of which one you prefer. So then I think this definitely does need some ribbon, maybe across the top. Oh, and I didn't do what I was wanting to do earlier. That was silly. Let me see here. I should have done that. That was silly. I was wanting on this one, on our first card, to just put a little, oopsie, a little ribbon right here. So I think that just kind of adds to the to the look to have a little bit of shiny ribbon right there. So for sorry, I forgot to do that. Okay, so now I think you've seen a, a way to color this and um, I think it would also look really pretty um, heat embossed in gold, the whole thing stamped and heat embossed. Um, because you could do this piece separate on the same color and um, use that piece you know, on, on the same per blue, heat emboss this, and then he have this just be all part of the card, and then pop this up on glue dots. I think that would be really cute. So that's another option for that. So to recap our cards, we have this one where we can use either a white background that we maybe sponge on. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna do on this, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was gonna put this at the bottom. Like, I, you know how I love to do this? I love to have a sand color on the bottom. So, we could have sand here, and we could have like the, the little guys out sitting on the sand. Let's go ahead and glue it down. We've got a couple minutes. We're not going too terribly long yet. Put it, this is smaller than the card. It's the five and a quarter width, so I'm just gonna put it not quite down to the edge. Just pretend that it goes all the way to the top. Alrighty, and then put the sky on. And then there. Almost looks like a tent now, but anyway. And then some dimensionals. I haven't decided what set we're gonna use next week. I think it's, I'm still not quite ready to do snowflakes. Is anyone else ready to do snowflakes? I'm just not sure. So, oh, hi Lisa, how are you? Good to see you. Um, let's see here. Put my rejoice there, almost finished. donkey right there and our little sheep over here Got to get a little more there we are and then let's see a little oh I was gonna show one other thing using just cutting out a star and then using crushed curry ink to just add a little bit of color to the star. Because what I was thinking was the white edges would make it look a little more um, like it matches this, not, not being quite so yellow on these. Cause like, you know, you could use um, one of the, one like this, but I think that might not quite go together with the, um, the look of all this white. There's that. Oh, did I get that or not? There. I don't want the sheep to look like he's all by himself. There we are. Okay, so then maybe the rejoice could go over here. A couple of things. 
out. There we go. And there. And then let's put a glue dot right up here. And there we go. So there's the, the one option with the white edges and with colored in with blends. And then we did the monochrome look with the little tiny bit of ribbon on it, which I think adds quite a bit. And then we did the version with the um, background where it's just kind of fades away, kind of looks like the night sky, um, where I think this one would look really good with um, the Northern Lights technique done in the background. So anyway, so I appreciate all of you stopping by and uh, be sure and leave a comment and like and share if you would like to help me out with that. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.